Hi, and welcome to this demo. My name is Duncan Epping, and today I have the pleasure to tell you all about this really cool new feature, which is part of vSphere 7 called Scalable Shares. If you look at this environment, we have two resource pools available. As you can see by the name of these resource pools, they have been configured with the shares set to normal and the shares set to high. Now, this poses a problem, especially in this particular environment, because the normal resource pool only has a single virtual machine, while the high resource pool has four virtual machines. When we convert the data to a pie chart, we can immediately see what the problem is. Resource pool normal has 33% of the resources with a single virtual machine, while resource pool high has 67% of the resources, but needs to divide it across four virtual machines. So what we're going to do next is we're going to look at a virtual machine and we're going to look at the resources that are being assigned by DRS to this virtual machine. The blue line in this particular graph represents the CPU usage, while the green line represents the CPU ready time. What we'll be doing next is we'll be going to the DRS interface and we're actually going to enable scalable shares. The scalable shares option, what it's going to do, it's going to look at the number of virtual machines within each resource pool and it will also look at the priority of that particular resource pool and then assign the resources based on the priority and the number of virtual machines within this pool. As you can see in this pie chart, with scalable shares enabled, the amount of resources available for the RP normal resource pool ends up being 11% instead of the 33% that had available at first. If we look at the virtual machine, we should be able to detect a trend. Or simply said, for this virtual machine, we should be seeing CPU usage going down, while CPU ready time in this particular case should go up. The ready time, as I've already mentioned, is the green line, and the amount of CPU resources being used by the virtual machine is represented by the blue graph. As you can see, the ready time goes up significantly, and the amount of resources being used goes down significantly as well. And this is a direct result of DRS calculating the amount of resources that this particular virtual machine and the resource pool associated with the virtual machine should have available. And that is why I feel everyone should be using scalable shares as soon as it becomes available in vSphere 7.0. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.